What is up, YouTube? It is your boy John here from Poom Plot playing some more Farming Simulator 19. We're back in Indiana. Let's get to it. Hello. Hello. Sergeant Trent, what's going on? Oh, not much. Like we weren't just talking right before stream, right? right. <laughs> oh, man. Looks like you cleaned up your beard. I don't know what you're talking about. I got into a fight with a saber tooth tiger, I swear. <laughs> no, here, you know what happened? Yeah, your uh. Oh wow, Pepper. Uh, Where's that truck at? I want to finish selling real fast, and then we'll fast time, and then do the sugar beets. If people are, oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, we haven't. When did who did who got all this stuff going on here? When did that happen? What happened? Now, now, Trent, you're you're costing us money because the server runs, doesn't it? When we're not in here, man. No, Packers just. Today and I got everything ready oh, for okay. us. Will you get to the truck? Yeah, you can get it. I just just run it. That's fine. I don't care. Let's finish finish emptying the bin real fast, and then we'll fast time so that we get an accurate. Uh... But you fast time too, didn't you? Uh, just through the night. Oh man, come on, man. Have we sold anything today then? No. Okay, then don't sell anything. Don't I'll sell. Turn anything. around. Yeah, turn around. Don't sell. Okay. <laughs> Because the theory is, I want to see how much money we make off these um, thingamabobbers. Trigger beats. Uh, Farmer Nick, what's up, guys? Thanks to the uh, host there, or the follow, sorry. Appreciate you. Oh. Welcome in. Good to start going harvest wise, or? Yeah, we're going to go uh, sugar beet harvest and sell them right yeah. out of the field. So we actually need to get a, uh, or do you already get it, Trent? Yep, got it in my trailer. Man, nothing for me to do. Like, listen to this guy chat. Look at this guy. Trying to be prepared. <sighs> well, I'm supposed to have another driver pretty soon, but he's late. Yo, Nessa and Redbone, what's poppin'? Farmer Nick, uh, I did like the picture you sent yesterday, but I just want to let you know, if you need a safe place to keep it, my computer is waiting and ready for that the, 30. Yeah, uh, camera, too. For that 30, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about, <laughs> we were joking last night, Farmer Nick. But like if I were to get a 3080 or a 3090, Sean Sinclair, what's up? I could put it in the computer and then point point a webcam at it, and that would be the ultimate flex cam, right? Hey guys, there's my 3090 cam. You know, don't mind me. That'd be so like, I would never do that. I couldn't. I couldn't sleep. Like you know, live with myself if I did that. Kind of funny though. Like one time as a joke, it'd be funny, but not all the time. Rob, what's going on? How you doing today, sir? Oh, goodness. I'm listening to. He did get a 3080. It's in Discord. No, Farmer Nick, I'm I'm pretty sure I have I have a really safe place for it. Thanks to the host. Welcome in. Sean, I mean, I could, but why are they not? Found out some news after the stream on Tuesday. How about what's up, man? What's going on, dude? All right. Oh, you're exposed. Oh, man. Goodness, goodness, goodness. That's not good, man. Nice, Rob. Ice, what's up, bro? How you doing? A ton of people here already. Early crowd today. What's up, guys? Nice, Pepper. Nice, Pepper. Or not Pepper. What's your name? Packers. Packers. Yes, I was actually trying to download Millennial Farmer map. Uh, so I was late because it was taking forever and it only got 50% done in 10 minutes. So I just said, I'm, I'm done. I'll download it later. But yeah. Yo, Apex, what's up? How you doing, man? Uh, is there a Pete 
You mean BGA? Uh, yes, yes, there is. I will show you here in a second. Show you in a second. Uh, I, I don't know. You'd have to go ask them. They're not part of this community anymore, my guy. You'd have to go ask them. But yeah. Pepper never early? Okay. All right. I'm just always late. Uh, the BGA is uh, in this area right here. I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ice, there was a lot of drama, and uh, they're they're not... They're not part of this community anymore, so. Yeah. Alright. What do you guys got? What do we got going on? You say we have another driver coming? Who's that? It must be Tony. He said he'd be here at noon. Dude, don't believe a word Tony says. You know? Good kid, but don't believe him. Alright, we're gonna fire up on this harvest. That's the theory. Oh, there's Tony in chat right now. Uh, uh, I'm ready. How do you want to harvest this field, Sarge? Either go north, south, or east, west. It don't matter to me. It's a little more east, westy, right? But if we do some end rows, yeah, maybe I we got those set up for east, west. I think. Maybe we set our GPS east, west, and then uh, like just do an end row or a couple end rows, you know? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, okay. Watch, mine's going to be north-south, though, because it always is. Yep. Okay, so, Sarge, which line are you picking out of the four, like, Okay, if the we want to do east-west, I'd just do the normal, regular east-west. Okay. East-west, auto-width is 1772. Is that right? What I came up with. Okay, so my line's pointing north-south, so I'm going to rotate my line east-west. Yeah, so is mine. Okay. And it's, yeah, okay. We'll let that go and get on lines here in a minute. All right, chat, we are officially harvesting the sugar beets, guys. <laughs> I'm not a 12 year old. I'm not 12, thanks to the host and the, yeah, appreciate it. Yo, A-Lug, like, what's going on, dude? We bought this field uh, Tuesday and yeah, chat bullied me into buying it basically. So we might as well, um, you know, harvest the sugar beets because we should make a ton of money. So Trent's gonna be selling these right out of the field and we'll see how much we come up with. Hopefully it's enough to... What? What did we pay for this field? Like 500? Close enough. Yeah, we need about 500,000. Would be nice. And really, we don't need that much, but... Yeah. Yeah, Pepper, you did say plot under You and Sean. Sean definitely was all about that as well. I don't know how many enros we need, Sarge, but couple. Yeah, couple. Yeah. Especially on your end, John, because of that river. Yeah. So why did I give myself a spring shearing? We'll call it. Um. Wait, why is Farmson taking slugs with like five? Oh my god. Yeah, but I don't know, man. So I cleaned up the beard last night because I was cutting grass at the farm yesterday and it was really a nice, beautiful, but it was windy day yesterday. And the whole time I just kept picking beard hairs out of my mouth and I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm shaving. As soon as we get home, I'm done. And I did. Yeah. I got you, Packers. Awesome, man. Thank you. Go rally racing. What's up? How you doing today? What's going on? 
But yeah, I was just like, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm tired of it. <laughs> yeah, there is, and I'm great. Yeah, just picking beer and hairs out of my mouth like the whole time I was gotten. I'm like, I'm just, I'm over this. So, that is why. And I no longer have my mullet either, or my, my Mississippi mud flap, or whatever you want to call it, you know? Gone. Looked like a dead rodent in my trash can last night. Will say, I think I cut the beard a little too short, because now it's like really itchy. It's like at that itchy, you know, phase now. Not very uh, happy about that, but it's all good. So Tony, actually last night when we were playing Warzone, I was, I had already shaved then. Yeah. All right, where do my lines line up here? Of course, there's gonna be a smidge pass. Why wouldn't there be? Right. I'm curious if our GPS are the same, Sarge. <laughs> Very curious. Hey, uh, Trent, where you at, bro? You have to I go guess. empty already? I just decided to go empty to try to keep you guys rolling. Oh. Get the wheels are moving. Hey, Tony, are you coming in? <laughs> Oh man. What am I streaming tomorrow? Probably SnowRunner. Okay, that tells us how well we're lined up. No, I'm not on GPS right now, Sarge. Oh, okay, never mind. It, that actually looks right. Yeah. Do we have fast heads? No. Ice, thanks for the host. I, I knew there was going to be a smidge, so I just had to take the uh, smidge, Sarge. Okay. I'll back up here in a second and go for that line there. It should that looked pretty good. There, I'm on GPS now. I would say that's gonna be pretty darn close, right? Looks like it. Do some cutting back here because I bet you it'll. My head, yeah, my head's gonna reach out. So, yep, that is that looks pretty good to me. Already. Uh, as far as the fast sets, no, we have no, uh, really no modded equipment, to be honest. But yeah. Shocker, Tony didn't get up early enough and get his work done so he could come play farm sim with the boys. Oh, Tony, what are we going to do with you, man, huh? Just saying. By the way, I liked your hip waiter video last night, Tony. I guess he like hung up his hip waiters in the garage and then it like scared him. It's kind of amusing, not gonna lie. Alright. Yep, pick it up, Tony. Come on, Tony, lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> right, Pepper? You're not the only one, my guy. Punish him, he has to do potatoes. With a one row toe behind. <laughs> Interesting, Pepper. Or, uh, pa pa Packers. He with the name. And the face. Same. Oh, man. Not surprised at all, Tony. You were playing Warzone too late last night again, weren't you? Thank you, Sarge. And you know, Tony, if your dad has to, You're like... welcome. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, Nothing. you pushed him across the ditch. Nothing. <laughs> Matt, what's going on? Welcome in. Need a bridge over there so it's easier there's a bridge right right there out of the way 
all right fair play tony but like if you got to do your dad's like grass cutting man you gotta you gotta lock it in you gotta quit playing warzone at night you know or stop playing warzone at like 11. something like that you know better lock it in tony trying to say you know trent where are you actually selling these Go up uh the co-op because it's closer okay how big is the price difference oh it's the only place that takes them okay never mind <laughs> literally the only place that takes them all right There's a full trailer load. Okay. Five dollars. Thirteen five. Okay. Well, Zach, tell them that. Nice Packers. Shoots me in the forehead with a nerf dart. That would, that would hurt. Right? Right, Tony? You really need to lock it in, buddy. Like I said, if you gotta do your dad's like grass cutting, man. Man, you better You're gonna need a lot of sleep, bro. Lock it in. I'd come help you, but you know. Corona times. And that'd be something. Zach and I out cutting grass together. Can you imagine? Man. Be that father-son bonding time we never had. Either be really good or... I would just tell him bad. he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tony. I didn't mean it like that. You do, Zach. Yeah. You do. Your grades might, uh, you know, pick it up a little bit if you had a little more sleep, you know? Saying. What did I say? I was telling Dad that you were like, took a big two hour nap or something the other day. And I was like, yeah, you know, you just can't stay up all night and then like try to get up in the morning. And then I went, oh, uh, calling the kettle black, huh? <laughs> like, I stay up all night and then try to get up early. You want to make a vlog of that, Zach? <laughs> no. What? I didn't mean it like that, Zach. It was comedy relief guy. Comedic. It's, it's, it's a prank, bro. Trent. I'm full. Trent, you're the auger wagon. You're not supposed to get in the way of the harvesters, you know? You're going to be full of soup. I know, but like, you're not supposed to get in the way. Tony's supposed to be here. No, Tony. Tony is busy. Tony uh, needs to get some schoolwork done. You know. What's that like? Damn. I'm just saying they could get better, though, Zach. You know. They could get better, right? Yeah, Zach, that B could be an A and that C could be an A. Exactly. Thanks for our follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the vlog. How's it going? Welcome in. We're talking about doing bonus stream tonight. Leonard asked me last night and I was like, I don't know. I could. I don't know what I'll play. A runner? <laughs> New rest map? I kind of do want to start a, a new rest map, but like everybody put everything they want in their backpack first and then go start a new map. But you're giving away the good secrets. Stop it. <laughs> well, then the new map, like we wouldn't set up the big awesome houses that we build and all that. Literally just go in there and try to do that mine thing and a launch site because those are the only things we haven't done. So like, just go take our weapons and just like go do that. I wouldn't even build a house. I'd probably build something kind of close by so I could have a respawn point, you know? So, uh, 
course boy. What about it? A driver. Oh. Yeah. Um. Gotta take a short break. That would be. Oh man, we should have thought of that sooner, Trent. Horseplay would be awesome right now. Because we could have. A, we could have a couple a tippers around us. Yeah. And. If only. Tony, you know, we're just giving you a hard time, my guy, right? You know? Oh, yeah. Algebra, I, I understand that, Zach. But I would have an F, bro. Man. Lucky this field doesn't massive, yeah. Ah, uh, still made it across. <laughs> <laughs> right, Pepper? Or, or uh, what's your name? Packers? I keep calling you. I need to stop. I need to stop, chat. So, chat, uh, we did end up taking our uh, lawnmower trip the other night. So, I do have Casey's Pizza in the fridge. Ooh, awesome. If anybody's curious, you guys want a slice. It's going fast, though. I may have walked into a Casey's the other night and ordered four pizzas. <laughs> the guy was like, well, what? What? You want what? I was like, yeah, you heard me, sir. Four pizzas, bro. Give me four pizzas. Stat. And actually, so I like, I, I got ordered the pizzas. I paid for them. I went back out to the truck, right? And the guy's like, give me, give me 15 minutes. So 20 minutes later, I go, go inside, right? And there's this lady that comes out of the bathroom, goes to the register and she goes, y'all need to clean that bathroom. And she goes, I just want y'all to know that I didn't do it. I was just like, oh God, this is, this is going to be great. Right? I mean, yeah, sh of sure. It is. Right. So, lady, she she says this at the register. She leaves. The, the employees are like, "Okay, we'll take a look at it." So, a minute later, the the guy working the register he walks back there, real casual, and he comes back and he tells this girl that he's training. He just goes, "There's s word everywhere." <laughs> I was like, "Oh no." I kind of wanted to go see it too because like yeah but i wouldn't have been hungry and i was just like focused on my pizza at that point you know but like you couldn't get fresher pizza because it like i watched it come out of the oven you know so good what i ate for breakfast <laughs> wow pepper struggle to put shorts on in the morning huh man it do be kind of rough like that, right? Trent, if we do something like this again, we will have to get course play. Okay. How about that? I always it's... have the newest one installed. <laughs> well, I, I don't have it. I'd have to go get it and then put it on the server. Which really wouldn't be a big deal, you know? But we always have issues with it multiplayer, although they keep saying that it works. You know? I don't know. Patch, you know if they fix something in multi, which is good at least. Packers, we'll catch you later. Have a good day, buddy. Have a good one. I emptied you a little. <laughs> I know. I'm still at 75 uh, now. Leonard, I'm hello? Try I'm trying to unload at least some out of both of you to keep both yeah. of you moving. Yeah. <laughs> not going to work. No. Yeah, it's not going to work, but at least I'm trying. This truck does not like its trailer either. All right, Tony, get your work done so we can like play get games. Another like. semi driver. <laughs> I don't know anything about the Millennial Farmer map yet. Like I said, I was trying to download it earlier, but it was taking so long. I just like started streaming. I wonder if there's just that many people trying to. Probably their servers are terrible. I don't know something. My internet's not what it should be either, so I don't know. Oh, this is actually the first time that both of you guys are full. What happened to the guy that lit a fire in his canoe to keep warm? 
Uh, imagine not good things, right? <laughs> you can't have your kayak and eat it too. Okay, Leonard. <laughs> what are you getting at? <laughs> Yo, I don't understand it. Does not compute, sir. I mean, definitely, you can't, right? But. <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah, I heard that noise too. Airplane? Yeah. Airplane. Hello? Man, we could have. We could have. Like another semi or maybe like tractors Tony. with tippers. Tony's not coming in. Tony's busy. Tony needs to get his school work done. That's his own fault. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, I get it. And he did too. Ah, that makes sense. You can't have your kayak in. He did too. Oh. Okay. Instead of eat it, eat it too, which would be the normal, like cake and eat it too thing. Okay. Kind of makes more sense, though, chat. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is kind of brutal, isn't it? The worst part of this harvest is the emptying of the harvesters. It's not the actual harvesting is not bad. It's the emptying. And the cell points like really close too. Okay, dumb thought. Um, is my game broken? I think my game just broke. Hello? Oh my god. Game's not broke. Trent, you were just going a thousand miles an hour across the screen. <laughs> no. <laughs> he did. I came out of the escape menu and you were zooming, bro. I I injected nitro in, in this. 18. Uh, I'll, I'll pass. No, just, just, just hear me out, Trent. There's not even a mission for it. There was earlier. I don't... There's no mission for it. I was going to say... We could do a uh, yeah, harvest. There is. is there? Am I blind? Yeah, sure. Why am I blind? 19, 13. It's six from the bottom. No. Oh, it is right there. 74,000. Oh, my God. $74,000. I mean, we have the harvesters, right? With we could, GPS. We, with GPS. We could totally throw on course play. It's a super short run to the... Actually, we could probably go to three harvesters and then course play. Think about that. If we can get course play working in multiplayer, which it's supposed to, right? It should be, yeah. It's been oh, man. All right, Leonard. <laughs> have a good I mean, day. If we, if we have three harvesters on course play and all three of us run tip. We could do it that way, too. But I was saying three harvesters, or we run harvesters and then... Actually, that'd be oh, more yeah, efficient to run. Them. No, no, no. It'd be way more efficient to run a harvester on course play. Uh, yeah. I mean, at that point, you could just hire them too, but with course play, it doesn't really it doesn't cost, cost any money, <laughs> and they're a lot smarter. <laughs> oh, chat. Should we course play? What? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I do know about that at the same time, you know? Don't mind me, Chad. I'm just tabbed out of the game. That's why you can't hear the game. Sorry. There you go. Oh, Trent has a link and everything. Oh, man. Look at him. It's nice. Google, Google remind, or remembers it for me because I go there too often. Yeah. That's funny. Watch it. All I have to is uh, go you and it pops that up. Oh. I kind of figured, Leonard.
You can make them cost money, but why would you dare do that? Why do that when you can get them for free? Yeah. Now, can you... If we run a harvester ourselves, will the course sleigh drivers come to us? I Because I don't think, so. think, I think that works. Unfortunately. Combine and... Uh, to I, that's what I course. think. I think they both have to be on course play, right? Which sucks, yes. It's kind of weird, but yeah. No, they should. Well, that's... I don't know. I, I think you might have to call it. Maybe that's what it is. Say, hey, get over here. Maybe you have to call it through course play, huh? Yeah. Trent, where's the link for the latest? Okay. Okay, so I click on it, like, on the name up there. Like, course play for FS19, blah, blah, blah. And then you scroll down, and it, and it gives you those zip, and it automatically downloads. FS19. Okay, I see it there. There we go. I don't use this website, like, ever. Can you tell? Oh, getting a little jumpy on, on in the game. Cause that would that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, Leonard? Can't expect you to work all afternoon. Come on. How dare how dare anybody expect you to work all day? It's right. Ninety-five. Dude, I got a like a random weird call this morning and I didn't answer it, but the voicemail when I when I played the voicemail, it was like I called a voicemail and it left a voicemail on my voicemail. It was like you've reached the voicemail box of and it listed off a number. They're like for what or for more options, push one or something. I was just like What? I didn't call anybody. You called me. <laughs> I was so confused. Of course, it doesn't take a lot to confuse me, but you know. All right, I'm just gonna stop because I'm I'm 87. <laughs> percent You're gonna be falling like <laughs> 10 feet. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. I mean, pretty much one harvester fills this trailer. Yeah, right. Almost. So Trent, you guys are not Trent. Chat. You want to see some course play on multiplayer? <laughs> Buddy, yes. Fire Shadow, what's up, bro? Buddy? Buddy? Wait, did I trim my beard? I don't. I don't. I don't think I did. Mother bins would work too. Mother bins would work, but. Horse play. Eh? You guys know I like to struggle with horse play. So, well, either, you got me. either that or it's going to break the server. So, I mean, take your pick. Right? <laughs> oh, brother. All right. I'm going to try to upload it real fast. It might make the stream just a little jittery, but it's a tiny little mod. So, like only 20 megabytes or something. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to push it. Is it done already? I think it's done already. Um, is it done? I don't see it in the list. I don't think that took. It should be at the bottom. It's literally that fast. Well, no. Wait, why not, Leonard? Why? Why? Makes us more efficient. I, the only thing I'm saying, of course, like far is to help us run so that we could actually like harvest, you know? That's all I'm saying. That's all I want it for. I'm not going to do field work with it. I'm not going to do missions with it. But literally just to like help us run right now. And for that other field. 
That's all I'm saying, oh, yeah, Chad. I'd rather feel it. That'd be a huge help. Yo, Sean, are you here? We'll settle this. Sinclair. If Sean's here, we'll have him do a poll. How about that? I don't think Sean's here. All right, Pepper, enjoy that pizza, man. See, if Trent would just drive across the... <laughs> if Trent would drive across the bridge, it would probably help, too. <laughs> well, if Tony got his homework done, like... Well, you know, like Tony's not, to. not... It's not happening, so... He just let that one go, you know? Oh, yeah. I guess Sean's not here, huh? Not oh, good. Come on, Trent. Sarge is going to run me over. Let's go. Or Sarge is going to get full. Never mind. No, he's not. Do, do, do. Okay. <laughs> there you go, chat. Vote in chat. We'll do it. One for uh, no. Wait. Wait, Leonard. No, Carson's at school. Carson's at school. Wait, that doesn't work, Leonard. You got to have a yes choice in there, you know? <laughs> That's not how it works. Leonard doesn't know how polls work. Wow. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Really don't want the course play, huh? Interesting. I mean, we are almost done with this field. Or we're half done. Really not that bad. We're 40 minutes in, you know? I won't add course play. Today. <laughs> Maybe next week. Hmm? Eh? All right, Leonard. Whatever you say, man. We're probably not going to do that other one. Although that's a lot of money. Yeah, no, it's not bad at all. Which one is it? Um, 18. 18. Yeah, 18. It's a big field, but it's... The only place it takes sugar beets, we already know this, is the co-op, which is right there. So, um, it's we've knocked that. We've almost knocked out a field half the size of eighteen. I'm saying it really wouldn't be that bad, and it would be a lot better for Trent for running. You know, might finally be able to keep up. So it really wouldn't be that bad to do it. You know, it would make sense while we have all this lease. That's like seventy grand. It's worth. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, what's kind of killing me is going through town and going around the creek. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it totally makes sense to do 18. It really does. While we have the equipment lease, it, it makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think to do a giant sugar beet mission, but yeah. Mother bin trained into the cell point. Wow. Uh, we don't have mother bins installed, and we probably wouldn't have enough money to lease them all either. Well, oh, and you can't do it into the cell point. Leonard says if we harvest 18, then we can install a horse. <laughs> I don't think we need it, Leonard. Ha! Tables have turned. I don't want it. Nah. Take my ball and go home. <laughs> Wait. I'm already at home. Crap. Hey, Chad, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, I think it'll be, you know, a lot easier to run if you're right there. Let's put it this way. I'd rather do the sugar beet mission the way we're harvesting now than with the equipment it gives you with no, no GPS and 
Only one harvester. Actually, which harvester does it give you? Planting. It gives you the same one, but only one of them. So that's worth seventy-four thousand dollars, though. That's crazy. It's so much money. So yeah. Oh, make me turn this tractor around, chat. Wait. <laughs> How the turntables? Are just full too. All right. We'll just struggle through this, and then we'll be good over there. You know, we'll be okay. The problem is Trent just can never get us actually, you know, empty. <laughs> he could empty one of us every time, but that's it. There's the problem. Base got to split half loads. Yeah. Yep. But it really hasn't been that bad, you know. Not bad at all. Oh, uh, I kind of thought it was going to take way longer, but this isn't bad at all. Now, if we had to go up north, that'd be really bad. Oh, we'd be running one harvester with two, uh, two semis, probably. Most likely, that's what we do. Because, yeah, that, that run takes forever. Even with grain. Yeah. Good thing it's a regular size map, huh? Yep. That really might take a while then, if it wasn't. All right. Oh, I gotta say, I can't remember. Man, it was a good day here yesterday. It was beautiful. How's the... Did that rain ever happen? Uh, not by me. Oh. Uh, all sunshine now. It's cloudy outside. It was you know, a little dark outside, and then the sun started to make an appearance. Well, there's like all kinds of rain south of me. But Trent, there's wait, it can't be sunny for you right now, Trent. Really? Yeah, it's uh, well, it's it's cloudy. I say it's got to be right. clouding up. It's about to rain for you, I think, bro. Most of the state of Missouri is rain right now. A watch now says 70%. Well, I'm not exactly sure where you're at over there in Illinois, you know? I have a rough idea, and no, then you don't need to say it, of course. Oh, there's that town. Oh, yeah, you're, you're probably about to get rain. Looking at, like, the town we met in, you know? Good old Casey, Illinois. Leonard had snow yesterday, a little bit, I saw. Raining all day, have it? Oh. Goodness. Man. It was like 66, 68 degrees yesterday. And just... What's <laughs> up, all? It was a little windy. But other than the wind, oh my goodness, it was a nice day here yesterday. I was so, like, I didn't realize how much I missed mowing, you know? Oh, I already missed mowing. I missed it. It started in January. Dude, I had, like, I had fun yesterday. So I cut, like, part of the yard at the farm, like, the side with the big shed. I cut, uh -huh. like, in front of the big shed. I cut that with uh, the Husqvarna tractor. And then I parked that, and then a little while later, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, what's it called? Our laser out, and I cut with the laser. Oh, loved it. Trent lives a little ways away from Casey. Um, when we met up, when I sold him my drone, we drove, like, two-ish hours, and Trent drove, what, like an hour and a bit? Hour and a half, almost two. Yeah. So it was kind of yeah. like a, a place where we Pretty could meet halfway. up. Yeah. Instead of one of us having to like go the whole way. 
we can just kind of meet up. So, KC, Illinois, though, awesome little town, man. Got the world's largest pitchfork. <laughs> they got a John Deere dealer. They got they got all kinds of weird stuff. And of course, they have a Casey's, which is the best part. You know, best part. You're 30 minutes from Casey. Wow. We should have said, should have had a meetup over there, huh? Your son lives in Newton. I don't, where's that? Is that close to Casey? I don't know. I don't know sounds in Illinois very well. Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. And actually, Bert, I, I, I'd even talked about you. I took a picture the other night because we did end up going on that lawnmower run. I, I took, I thought of you and I told my dad, I said, oh, Bert, you can't really. <laughs> I took a picture of the, the mill over there in Alton <laughs> with the big welcome to Alton painted on it. <laughs> uh, it was perfect. When we were driving past it, I was like, I have to take a picture. I was very disappointed though. The, the bridge, the, uh, what is it? Clark bridge? They don't have the lights on it anymore. It's a, uh, like cable bridge, right? So it has all the, like the cables coming down to hold it up. Sure. Whatever suspension bridge, whatever that's called. And they used to have lights on it at night. And, and it was really cool. You could see the bridge from like miles away. It was so cool. And the lights were off and I was really disappointed. It, it's a really neat looking bridge too. So is it only for Christmas time? No, they're just like white lights. Oh, but like the, the cables are painted. At least they used to be painted yellow. And, uh, then the white lights. So it, it kind of looked like yellow lights. Though the cables are yellow. I'm looking at a picture from last time we went over there. But it's like, it's a beautiful bridge. Here, I don't know if you guys can tell what that is there. It was a beautiful bridge. But the lights weren't on, and I was very disappointed. Because we don't get to Alton very often. And especially at night, we get over there. So I was like, that does not work. It did look great with the lights. You could see that bridge from miles away. It was really cool. We uh, we ended up going up to uh, like the Godfrey area, so not that far away from like Alton. Anyway, it's like a hop, skip, and a jump from Alton. So once you're in Alton, you're uh, pretty good to go. Kind of crazy. We we delivered a lawnmower to a guy that bought one from Dad ten years ago. Still has the 10 year old lawnmower, but he has, has kind of sold it to a buddy of his. Which one are you, Sarge? He's the one you're right behind. Same direction. Alrighty. And uh, as Dad and I were driving over there, we're just like, man, this is so familiar. Like driving through the guy's neighborhood, we're like, we've been here. It's just been 10 years. <laughs> yeah, there's the bridge. It's a beautiful bridge. But at night with those yellow, when they had the white lights on it, oh, yeah. Now we got the new one in downtown St. Louis, the uh, Stan Musial Veterans Memorial Bridge. And uh, I think they light up that one at night. It's kind of the same design, but those cables I think are white. So yeah, kind of bummed the lights weren't on. Must be, must be budget cuts on Illinois, right? <laughs> Probably. I don't know how that works. They even cared, right? Does Missouri pay half of the lights, and like Illinois pays the other? Like, how's that work? Who owns the bridge? I don't know. I assume the state line's right in the middle, right? I don't know how. Yeah. Do, how does that work? <laughs> I don't actually know how that uh, how that works. <laughs> who owns the bridge the left side or the right side 
Oh, man. But it was a fun little trip. And, of course, we got our Casey's Pizza, so. Delivered two lawnmowers. Two lawnmowers. And we were doing great, and we got, like, almost to Alton, and then the road was wet. And I'm like, dang, brand new lawnmower just got absolutely plastered and, like, plastered and, like, the road, the spray from the road, you know? Like, man, kind of felt bad. The feds own it. That's Bert's story. Okay. Surprised it's still standing. The feds own it. <laughs> Just throwing that one out there for you. Because I guess, like, if it's a bridge, like, in interstate bridge, you know, like, not crossing the state line, then obviously, like, whatever state that is would own that bridge. But across state lines, I, I kind of wonder. How that works do they have like a joint fund to take care of that bridge or something probably like they're both responsible for chipping in money interesting yes okay it was actually funny so we got our cases in godfrey for those of you that know that area and then we drove down to alton of course you know and then we pulled yes, into it train Oh, jeez. We actually pulled into another gas station to eat our Casey's pizza because we needed to stop. <laughs> we just, like, parked at a gas station parking lot and ate our pizza. The other gas station was not a Casey's either. It's like a random gas station. Oh, man. And then I don't know what was going on, but, man, we were coming, coming back on... What road is that? 67? 67? And man, there were a lot of cops and fire trucks and stuff off to the side. Yeah. Yo, fake. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, I don't know how that works uh, with like the plow, and I would imagine they both take care of it. It's like, yeah. I don't know. Rally Racer, we'll catch you later. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Good we'll catch you. Oh, Trent. 6%. <laughs> oh, that's okay. So we actually stopped. I'm getting very specific about where we stopped. But 67, that was like last gas stations in Missouri. We just like pulled into that lot. So, so we are doing 18. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. It, it kind of just makes sense, you know? It's been accepted. Let's uh, get these all sold, and then we can see how much money we made off of our our field. Then we'll pitter patter on another one, chat. Not that bad though. Did a turn there. I miss a lot of turns on this map, don't I? I almost nailed a telephone pole that doesn't have any wires. Yep. See, the town's so small, Trent, they're just getting electricity, you know? So they went through yeah. and put all the poles up first, of course. With transformers. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then they'll come back and string up all the wires, okay? I swear, but... And they have all these streetlights in. That's underground wire. Maybe that's what it is, Trent. Maybe all the wires are underground now, and they're, they're upgrading and putting them all underground. And they just haven't gotten rid of all the poles yet. How about that? We'll just say probably not, okay? Huh? Or sometimes you see like the pole with like the conduit going up the side and then like a transformer. See that sometimes too. 
get trying to get emptied out here. Chat, we're gonna make some money. Seventy-four thousand dollars for this mission. We're one. Oh no, Trent. Trent, Trent, Trent. He accepted the mission, so these sugar beets are going for the mission, bro. Man. So far, chat, we've made one hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars. It would have been a little more than that. Not a big deal. That's actually not as much money as I was hoping we were going to make off the field. $126,000. Does that even pay our lease costs? Yep. We'd have had about another 6000 I think. Okay. Uh, two full trailers pretty much covered it. Yeah. No. Er. We, got, we got fifty grand just in the harvesters themselves. Not to mention the heads in the truck or the trailer. Oh, that's all good. All right, chat timestamp 105. 105. How long is this mission? We're going to make get a lot on this, hopefully. We will have extra sugar beets to sell as well. So, Oop, I am stuck in a tree. There's a tree there. Yeah, I'm not really in it, but I am, you know. Kind of thing. Branches stick out a little farther than I, uh, I would want them to. I need to do some trimming. A little bit. I need one of them, uh, I need one of those things on like the bucket, you know, on a tractor and reach up. I fertilized all the way, all the way. Getting maximum yield here. That's good. Oh, by the way, internet rocket. Did you stay up Trent, and watch that one? I crashed at like 2.30. Ah. Uh, Actually, a pretty decent launch, pretty good launch to see. It was a little cloudy, but not bad. So I, I, I didn't mean to stay up, but I, I did. I, I was trying to stay up for it, but I, I was gone at like two forty, I think. Yeah. I got you. I fell asleep out here in the garage earlier that night, so then by the time Internet Rocket went, I was wide awake. Oh. Day last night, well, technically I haven't went to bed yet because I was playing Minecraft plus Jacker Chick and Twitchy like all night. A modded multi fruit harvester that can do three heads at what? Like width wise, three heads? Is that what you're saying? Because holy cow fire. Oh. Be kind of crazy. I want to go into while I have the chance. Okay, might as well. Holy cow, fire. Well, John, I was actually I thinking you know those uh, agro liner trailers for Ollie. Yeah. Get four of those on a train behind a tractor. Oh, man. Uh, that would actually empty both of you guys out. Fire, to be honest, this is probably like the one time we're going to do this. So, nah, we're good, man. But I appreciate it. But after today, we probably won't run this again, you know? It just kind of made sense to do this mission while while we had the stuff leased, you know? It just made sense. We've had a, yeah, we, I think, yeah, you're right, man. Yeah. I bet you if I go look at my mods, I probably have it. But that triple one, I think, was uh, broke. Is that the one? Yeah. Uh, one of those definitely broke, like, my game. Once or... That was the one that did... Uh, Loose cotton. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. This is a bit of a big field. But look at that. Trent can actually go run and I'm not full. Impressive. We're right next to the cell point. Well, so, it also yeah. kind of helped that I unloaded you in that one spot along the trees, too. Yeah. Yeah, true. This field's kind of almost like square too, isn't it? 
almost. It's just those trees in the top left. So I'm run this the... east west, Sarge, because our GPS is already set up. Sounds good to me. Okay. On tiny truck, you can make it through the ditch. Tiny truck, dude, 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 and it's your go ahead, Sarge. And I am actually on GPS, Sarge. Alrighty. Uh oh. Truck just got called in for dropping rocks all over the highway. Broke her windshield. <laughs> Hate when that happens. Dude, our windshield got hit one time when we were out. I f know where we were at. And I like I watched the ro the rock come from the highway, bounce, go right over the hood of the car, and just smack the windshield. Like I watched the whole thing. It was crazy. Like, your brain just like picks up on something so small. And we, we, have you seen a, a ding in that Mike Mitchell's video about the rock hit the glass and completely shattered the entire tractor windshield? Yeah. Yeah, nothing left. Well, the the one video I think he did with the the fence where he, they had to yeah. drag it on. Okay. The driver was saying that the rock bounced up and hit the side window. Oh. Of a Delta track. Oh, okay. Well. Not do you see the his window or the back? Do you see his last video with the soil samples? That that's a pretty cool truck. It makes a lot of sense to have that rig all set up though. Oh yeah, it was tracks. You just sit in a nice truck with a heated air conditioned cab and we'll do soil samples. Yeah. yeah. Uh yeah, as far as plowing fields together, well, eighteen to nineteen will be perfect someday. Twenty through twenty two will be perfect. But these fields here, uh two to five, five. all those those will be perfect fields someday. And we, I do plan on doing that, yes. And pretty much 14, 15, 23, 24. Yeah, there's a lot of. 26, 20, 20, 20, 20. A lot of potential here. We're plowing stuff together. Oh, See, are those trees even able to get rocks? Which ones? Uh, in between that little cluster right in between 23, 24, 14, and 15. I don't know. I don't know, Matt was, Matt was saying the other day that trees are going to be difficult, so we'll just have to get the rocks on here sometime and try do what we can and don't do what we can't, you know, it is what it is, not a big deal, You're 62. Really like having that thing in the top left. It is kind of handy, isn't it? It can be handy. Alrighty. We'll just start going back and forth. And you guessed the chat back and forth some more. Oh, so who watched uh, Millennial Farmers last video? I, I believe I did. It's been a while. Auction. Oh yeah, the auction with the machinery, Pete. Yeah, which I did not know his name was not Pete. <laughs> yeah, it's Greg. <laughs> I, did not know that. I didn't know it either. I, I just knew him by machinery, Pete. I don't really watch his stuff, but I had no idea that his name was Pete. I watch, I follow him on Instagram, but I don't. I never knew his name was Greg. I, I was, think his last name is Pete. Peterson. Yeah, Peterson. Greg it's Peterson. Just... That's where the Pete comes from. But it still kind of like tripped me up because I had no idea. Okay, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but if you haven't watched the video, you might want to like plug your ear holes or something. If you guys care, it's been a couple days. It's been out. I think you, you had a chance to watch it. Who, who besides myself and my dad, <laughs> like the two of us, we, we, we for sure think millennial farmer bought that quad track or maybe I his dad so. bought it or something. Cause he like hyped it up a lot. And then he's like, Hmm, I wonder who that bidder was. It was a uh, internet bid. It had to be his like dad or. Something. It could have been him or his dad. And yeah, it, he really hyped that up. Because what I'm thinking is like, if you're in his case where everybody knows you, 
There's no way you're going to stand there and bid in re like in person. Because somebody is going to run you up big time. You know? So yeah, I can totally see. Tried to add like low, low hours too. Yeah. It, it had to be him and his dad. Yeah, some combination of the two of them. He was trying to bid on the 40 foot rotary hoe. I think it was massive, man. My grandpa had like a we 10 had, foot one of those back in the day. We had a 20 foot on a. Oh, yeah? It was a 20 foot three point and it had its own basically trailer. Oh. Like once you get your field, you unhook trailer from your three point. Your tractor and hook it up to the, the hoe. Rotary hoe and hook it from the trailer. So why did he go to that sale? Because he was probably paid to go. I think that uh, that Actions. whole that was just a big vid, a big commercial for the auction house. Is what that was. Because like they went the day before. There's going to be more videos coming out from there. Like it was that was a sponsor thing. Is all it was. Oh yeah, because I mean he also went inside the truck. Like, like he probably should have like put hashtag ad on it because you could tell like. He may not have gotten paid to be there, but he definitely, like, was there because they asked him to be, if nothing else, you know? But. Wait, is there a new video out now, Leonard? Sorry for any other rights. Tapped out. May you ask why we're doing sugar beets? The torture. Because we can't. So we had, we bought a field the other day that had sugar beets in it, right? And instead of plowing those under, we decided to lease some harvesters and have a new video out today, Leonard. Yeah, there's no video out today, Leonard. No. Um, instead of plowing them under, we decided to harvest them make some money and then it just kind of made sense to us while we're over harvesting field four is what we harvested the field 18 had a mission for sugar beets that's worth seventy four thousand dollars and of course that's before you sell any extra so that's why we're doing sugar beets if we can sit here and make a cool extra seventy four thousand we might as well right like we just we we might as well. So that is why we're actually doing sugar beets right now. Yeah, so that video is two days old. Yeah. But no, he totally bought that thing. Totally bought that thing, in my opinion. Remember they, he demoed one. Be, so So that was a the brand new one though. So. Yeah. <laughs> So, Grant Hilbert. No, I do not. I don't know who that is. The main ones I watch, I used to say Cole the Corn Star a lot. I kind of can't take his ads all the time. His, his videos have just turned yeah, into yeah, one it's... big commercial. Uh, but I do watch them a little bit. Or he went the other day. That was a huge ad, too. When he went down to uh, Egg Chem Solutions. That you was, could totally tell they're gonna buy chemicals from them. Probably just gonna get chemicals. Let's be real. Just a big oh, ad. Yeah. Oh, he's the squad. No, I don't watch him. Um, I do watch Millennial Farmer. I I watch one Lonely Farmer, which you know, take him with a grain of salt because, yeah, he can he can be harsh to watch. Um. Uh, the one I'm really all about here lately is, it's been for a while, is, um, what's his name? Brian? Brian's Brian. farming videos? I really like him. I like the family aspect there. And I started watching Sunny Farms. My dad would talk about Sunny Farms a lot, so I started watching Sunny. And, uh, I really like him. Really like him. And same thing there. The, the dynamic between... Uh, his name is actually Cole, the Sunny Farms guy. Yeah. Him and his dad is, and his dad's name is Brian, I think. But like the, the between those two, they're they're, it's just great. Like it's just great. Their their dynamic between those two is 
great. Did I ever tell you now about I that one time? Why? Because it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. I can keep up with you two. Oh, Frank, I didn't say you had to watch him, man. Holy cow. Done. Sonny is very, like, yeah. They're just, like, good people. And I do watch, like, the Welkers occasionally. Same thing there. They're good people, too. You know? Oh. All right. Oh. oh and, of course, Larson. Yeah. I, I do watch Larson. Yeah. Uh, I like the dynamic between Chat and Duggo there, too. I know. Chat, Duggo, and uh, Big Swede. Big Swede. Yeah. And then, of course, when you get... Um, you get... Uh, uh, what's his name? Randy. Randy pops in occasionally. Uncle Randy. He's there occasionally. He's there all the time. He's just not in video, you know? So... Yeah. Hey Frank, you don't have to watch him. You don't like it, don't watch it. I didn't say that I agree with everything he talks about, but what he does on his farm is interesting to me, you know? Kinda like watching Sunny Farms. Like it's it's so different from anything I would see from around where I'm at. Because we don't have, you know, critters like that Pretty around easy. here you know there's there's not a lot of clavin around here you know what they call cabin clavin you know clavin clavin yep old claves I, you know i kind of want to experience it i don't that's yeah, great frank that's great good for you i don't I don't know what you want me to Never say. Said you had to. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that I agree with everything he says, but I, like I said, I like what he does on his farm. It's very interesting that somebody can mow hay in like December and and get paid to make that still. You know, that's fascinating. He still has to go bail corn stalks from last fall. He's got a job up in New York. He has to go do. It's incredible. Like that stuff's half rotten, but those mushroom barns, barns want it so. Yeah. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, yeah. Uh, working on a planter or something, right? Something like it. Yeah, he's rebuilding another uh, planner. Big four row planner. I think so, yeah. My grandpa had a four row. They were going to go to a six row pretty soon. Oh, yeah? Or maybe your grandpa. I don't remember what he had. Because it, it was huge. It took up a huge spot in the shed. And maybe it was a six row. And I have a six row. Planner on the back and a roller crimper on the front. Yeah. And a plant rye in the fall. Hey, you need help planting rye, I'll bring the tractor brigade, okay? <laughs> yeah, I could actually probably use my uh, John Deere 430. Use my little tractor. You're putting $10,000 into a $4,000 planner. That seems smart. Which, okay, that's you. Ten thousand dollars. What are you putting like electric drives in and hydraulic down force and all that? I think we're gonna be doing that oh, yeah? to cut through the rye and everything. That would make sense, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Ten thousand seems a little, uh, a little aggressive. <laughs> right, Matt. Can't. Hoping I'd get emptied for once, you know. 
<laughs> I, was, I got out of sync because I was able to keep you guys under at least a half. Yeah. About good, bro. As long as I can keep driving. I mean, we're, we're knocking this out a lot faster, really, than the other field because yeah. they have not had to stop yet. So That's my whole goal is trying to be like higher rail or just keep down by moving. Yep. Okay. Arch, I am coming. I'm in your way, right? No, you're good. Just go. <laughs> I'll get like, around you. I'll find my way. I'll blaze my own trail. I got this. <laughs> Man. Oh, I can actually drift this trailer a little. Nice. Very nice. All right. Sorry about that, Trent. This thing was fighting me trying to line up. Oh, you're good. Below 50, and I'll go to John. Oh, Leonard, I just, I heart you, Leonard. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man. You know, you know, when, when, uh, speaking of OLF, when he spends like, you know, 20 grand on like crone parts, he shows you his invoice, you know? Invoice or it didn't happen, Frank. There you go. Boom, roasted. There we go, chat. I said it. Hey. Um, like he's uh, not a, he's not afraid to show you like how much he spent with John Deere or Crowan or whatever. He is not afraid at all. Like yeah, there's forty thousand dollars in parts, whatever. Even right. uh, Cole's full uh, Sunny is doing that now too, I guess. Yeah, yeah, with his his Claven video uh, or his Which his, his Claves. That was interesting. How he like lost money like big time. But if nothing else, he got that like forty thousand dollar check, so that's like good cash flow. You know, pay oh, yeah. some bills with that probably. I think he said he broke even. Well, barely, barely, barely. But technically, they lost. Technically, he lost money. And his dad lost money, but yeah. So. Yeah, that's kind of how it is in the family farming businesses. Oh yeah. Dad helps the son and. Sun carries on. Yeah, they, uh, I thought that was very interesting where he was like, kind of just running through it, you know? Although really, if you, you account like all the gas they, or diesel or whatever, to drive to feed the cows every day, they lost the hand over fist. Yeah, they're, they're losing money in kind of diesel. You're welcome, Leonard. <laughs> oh, you're doing your little whisper over there? Yeah, he, he'd be whispering me, you know. <laughs> sometimes like a little sometimes little Leonard girl. and I have to have a side conversation, you know. It's just, it kind of works out that way, you know. Like when Carson's here, Carson whispers a lot, you know. About like behind the scenes things that are going on, you know. It's kind of the same thing. Not at all, but kind of, you know. And then actually, like, I guess they, uh, like, most Sunny Farms, his, his cows, they're over at, like, his uncle's place. So his uncle, like, has to, like, cab them and stuff, too. <laughs> like, his uncle puts in time. And they didn't account any of that, either. Which I thought was funny. They're like, yeah, we pull him out when he gets stuck. <laughs> oh, man. That was really funny. 
I know the problem, Frank, is that green paint, right? Yeah. That green paint, they just, they just really get you. Hey, my, uh, my dad's cousin has a six row 40 incher. Or we're not 40, 30, I guess they're, that's 36. Yeah. Yeah, 30, it's a 36 inch row. It's just sitting there. I want to buy it and make it into a pumpkin planter. Green paint is expensive, yeah. I don't mind. I like green paint. Don't get me wrong, but it is expensive. Very, very spendy. But hear me out. You take, you take the, the corn planter. It's a, it's a six row. I think it's six row, 36 inch space. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? And then you take out like all the middle rows and just like, you know, you basically take four of the six rows out and then you, you, you use the two outside rows to plant pumpkins, you know, <laughs> Matt, I like the way you think pizza. I like it, Matt, not speaking of pizza at all, but how's the, uh, how's the Minecraft going? Everything good there? And I know you've been playing. Everything good? I'm uh, getting along. Yeah, I just got uh, murdered by zombie Pikmin. How many deaths are you up to? Uh, I'm almost up to 80. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, well, uh, this, yeah. 80. Trent. Oh, this is like I think uh, it was around one o'clock. Two o'clock in the morning, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. I I was trying to create my own gold farm, and one of those little baby ankle biters passed through, and that screwed my whole thing up. And, yeah. And the big guys came through, and they really screwed me up. And I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. And I hot hot portal again, and they were like right at the portal, and. I got you. My nether room was basically a jungle gym at the end of it. Oh, that's the wrong harvester. Frank, what about your uh, your uh, fence? You got those fence. Uh, you got those ten ten fifties will pull a six row planter and a heart or an eight row planter. Sorry, in a heartbeat. They wouldn't even grunt, right? Oh yeah, Matt's gonna be our uh, mine dot. <laughs> cobblestone road. Yeah. I'm gonna take my horse to the cobblestone road. I'm gonna ride to luck. Yeah. Um, Matt and Phil are uh, mine, mine dot now. <laughs> mine dot. Yeah. It's, 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 it's no, I get state. it. I get it. I I totally get it. I like it. <laughs> oh, you're going over there. Mine dot. <laughs> Yeah, I'd finish up my last pass over here. I was all ready for you over here. Hey. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, I'm like full too. Like, you need to get me like empty, empty here. I got you at 94. <laughs> You're still moving. Mine dot. I love it. Five to the left. Can't no more. I was, I was thinking of that name when I was watching the stream. It, about the cobblestone around was like That's Minecraft and the Department of Transportation. It's pretty good. But if we're gonna do that to everybody's base, that's. I think I saw in his core, it's his X is like negative, I think 14,000 or 1400. Okay. And mine are almost like negative two, or. Negative, uh, almost 2000. Is it too bad? I got you. And I'm more confused than a three dollar bill right now, you know. Same. Throwing it out there. Alrighty. 
Back to the sugar beets. Let's go. Come on. All right, I go. I didn't realize until watching that Millennial Farmer uh, auction video uh -huh. that like sugar beets are a thing up there. I didn't really know either until I saw the tractors. That John Deere on the triple skinnies, my dad was like, that thing's weird. I'm like, I know, but that we're getting down in the rows, you know? Had duels in the front and triple sink or skinnies in the back. Yeah. And it looked like that uh, one seventy seven thousand series was like a pusher tractor or something. Yeah. Sixty acres. That's it. Bye. I'm coming, Sarge, again. Oh no, Pepper. Well have fun doing that. Be safe. Uh wear some eyewear and uh um remember to lift with your back in a twisting jerking motion. Okay. <laughs> Catch you later, Pepper. Have a good one. Have fun. No. Dude, we played a great game of dick in there. Yeah. Nobody budged. Boom, rusted. <laughs> All right. Yo, Danger Engaged. That's a great name. Love it. What's up, man? How you doing? Yep, that's right, Pepper. If you hear a pop from your back after lifting into twisting, jerking motion, you're doing it right. That's right, Pepper. Twisting, jerking motion. That's right. You live 20 minutes from the master pipe layer. Mr. Randy. You don't live far from like the Larson's then probably, huh? I know they farm some fields that are right next to each other. Doesn't mean they live, you know, close, but. They're country neighbors. Yeah, country neighbors. Country row. On a load faster. On belt. We're 30 minutes in. That's not bad. Not bad. I mean. It's not great. The cell point is what's saving us here. Oh, yeah, totally. Cell point is what's, what's saving. Completely. Thanks, Bert. Thirty minutes? Okay. I got you. As, like I said, just because they farm next to each other doesn't mean that they're, like, real neighbors, you know? I have kind of fun at work because like Zach's uh, green family we talk about sometimes he farms in two states and three different counties so like you know he he farms everywhere he's got some reach he puts his combine on a ferry and takes it across the river okay which would still be like the coolest drone video of all time combine tractor auger wagon on a ferry can you imagine that drone video? How cool that would be? You just like play the national anthem while it's going across the river, you know? <laughs> America, baby. I just oh, think it's it so cool. Did you hear about that big cruise ship that got stuck in the canal? Yes. Or not cruise ship. Uh, cargo ship. Wedged that sucker ship. right in there, didn't he? Man. I think that has to be human air. Yeah, they said it was like high winds. High winds and yeah, I'm sure there's some human error issue in there too. Yes, but yeah, I, I did human see. And wind. I did see that somewhere. That I guess it, Yeah, I guess it was on TikTok. I saw a uh, like a cargo ship that had ro like rolled, and it was full of like cars. Oh yeah, that's. Did you see that one? On YouTube. I've seen in, uh, it like, like this giant chain, basically solid. Yeah, and Buddy's like, yeah, this is just like in my town. It's just like, here you go. And it's like, oh my God.